Tonight, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. The tackle made. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Now it's Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. He rifles one that's intercepted. Cheetah made a losing lane with a pick. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Herbert's pass intercepted. The so Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 50 yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pickup, first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First and 10 at the 39-yard First down carry by Elliott. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Casey Hayward brought him down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and on second down. Elliott. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. With the give to Ezekiel Elliott. He was brought down by Drew Tranquil. It's a gain of three. Prescott on third and two. And two. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. Prescott. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Sets up fourth down. Now Prescott on fourth down. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. The first down carried by Elliott doesn't amount to much as he'll get forward for about a couple. The tackle by Denver. Second down and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. Number 20, Tony Pollard, the ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, the they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third and five. Now Prescott. So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. No score after one on EA Sports. Greg Zerline on for the field goal. A 41 man 
and Zerline's kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now this is the third year now for Northwestern, Justin Jackson. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. 11 yards there, first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Here's Joshua Kelly, the rookie from UCLA. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Makes it third and two. A first throw here for the backup, Taylor. It's caught by Jackson. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now, it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. Drew Tranquil. No gain on the play. Second and on second down, it's Pollard. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10, right around the nine-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Brings up third down and nine. First try for the right arm of Dalton here. Hard throw. Incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On first and ten, it's Taylor. He'll get this to his running back. It's Justin Jackson. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Give him three on the play. And that's going to make it third down and 10. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. At their own About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes. Back to back, what a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Noah Brown, the Ohio State man, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. 
throwing. Dalton. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for that. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Well, now comes the Cowboys punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Final play of the half, it's Taylor. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. He was looking for Darius Jennings that time. And that'll bring up second down. At the 40-yard line. A final shot before break. Taylor, he'll try and run it. So we have boy, a rough crowd. No football for six months already. We're skipping halftime. All right, let's get right back to the action. We're set for quarter three. for the Chargers. Probably not likely to see many starters in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. At their own 27-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Bring heavy set out there on third and one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll run with Pollard. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Running lens read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Run for Pollard. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That's good for a Cowboy. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Here's Dalton. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Boys. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25 yard line. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. 
Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday night are my top of all. We come up here on first and ten. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. He may try and run for this. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. His target at Schultz. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. And Dalton just sneak it. Try to wedge his way in there. No signal. I don't think he got there. He did it. They try the sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. And the Chargers hold tight down near the goal line. Now Taylor back into his end zone. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Talk about making winning plays. That is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. On the keeper. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And they'll take a knee as the clock runs under a minute to play. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were throwing for a loss. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So now Tyrod Taylor of the Chargers. Down 6 nothing. a little over 30 seconds remaining. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and he can't get it thrown away he's taken down Don Terry Poe marches in for the sack one last shot for Taylor forced out to his left 
Right. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.